The reaction we're going to look at today is a mechanism for the free radical substitution. It's the reaction between an alkane like methane reacting with a halogen like chlorine to give a halogeno alkane, this is chloromethane, and hydrogen chloride. The first step is what we call an initiation reaction. This is the step that kickstarts a whole reaction. How you do the mechanism is you show the chlorine separated like so. And because it's homolytic fission, we want to use single headed arrows like that. So there are two electrons in a covalent bond. UV light will cause a photo dissociation. It will cause this bond to break homolytically one electron going on to each chlorine which makes two free radicals. So that's the initiation step. The next step is what we call the middle part of the reaction. It's called propagation. The first thing you need to do is draw your organic compound in a displayed formula. It's going to react with one of the chlorine free radicals. Now the bond is going to form here. This is our imaginary bond, which is why chlorine's electron is going to go into the middle of that bond, because that's where it's going to end up. And the same for this. Make sure the arrows start from the middle of the CH bond. This other electron then is going to return back to the carbon. This makes another three radical, which is the methyl radical, CH3 radical, and we get hydrogen chloride formed in that step. Propagation involves two reactions though. This is the first. The other one is where we now take this free radical, and this is going to react with another chlorine molecule. Same as before, this is our bond that's where we're going to form it, so we need to show the electrons going into the centre of that bond. This electron will go here, the other electron is going to return to the other chlorine. This will make our halogenoalkane and a chlorine free radical. So in propagation, each time you will make one free radical and one neutral covalent compound. So that's a propagation step. The problem with this, if you're always making radicals, it's a chain reaction. The reaction will just continue until it will find something to react with. So we need a termination step. The termination always involves the reaction of two free radicals. So I want to show the formation of my major product, which is chloromethane. Again, this is where the bond is going to be, so my arrows need to go into the center. And that makes my major product chloromethane. There is a minor product which can form, and it's when two methyl radicals meet each other. Again, our radicals, we're showing the arrows going to the center of the bond that's going to form, and this is going to make another alkane with two carbons, better known as ethane. Now that we've got our, both our products, we've got our major product and we've got our minor product, we need to be able to make sure that double check your mechanism, make sure that what you've written, you haven't got any mistakes, that all your arrows are going to the centre of the bonds. So here's one that I prepared earlier. Your final mechanism should look like so. 
So what we've got here, we've got the initiation reaction, we've then got the propagation and we've got the termination. Little things to remember, our two products that were formed here, chloromethane and HCl, we showed the formation of both of these in our propagation step and we showed the formation of the chloromethane here as well in our termination step. Initiation forms two free radicals. Propagation steps each produce one free radical, whereas a termination step produces no free radicals at all.